in Lakeland, Florida. Thousands of people gathered in Selma, Alabama Sunday to mark the upcoming 40th, 48th anniversary of Bloody Sunday. On Sunday, March 7, 1965, Alabama state troopers and local police attacked a peaceful march of 600 civil rights demonstrators from Selma to Montgomery. The marchers were just a few blocks into their planned route when they were tear-gassed and beaten by police on the Edmund Pettus Bridge over the Alabama River. Sunday's participants crossed the bridge in the march's annual reenactment. They were led by a delegation that included Vice President Joe Biden and Democratic Congress member John Lewis, who was brutally beaten when he helped lead the original march 48 years ago in 1965. On the eve of Sunday's march, the chief of the Selma police, Kevin Murphy, apologized to Lewis on behalf of the city for the first time. Shortly after the apology, Murphy and Lewis appeared for a joint interview. What I did today should have been done a long time ago. It needed to be done. It needed to be spoken. Because we have to live with the truth, and it is the truth. It meant a great deal. I, I, I feel very good um, for the, the chief of the Montgomery Police Department offer an apology. Uh, I teared up. I tried to keep from crying. The Selma crackdown ultimately led to passage of the 1965 Voting Rights Act. Its anniversary comes just days after conservative members of the Supreme Court signaled their intent to strike one of the law's key provisions, ensuring federal oversight of election laws in states with a history of racial discrimination. Thanks so much for watching this report from Democracy Now!, your daily independent global news hour. We don't accept advertising or corporate funding, but rather rely on donations from viewers like you. Please make your contribution by visiting democracynow.org. We need your support today to keep bringing you this hard-hitting, in-depth reporting.